What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Richie Ruckus. I'm back here today with a special unboxing from Adidas as well as some clothing pickups from this past weekend. Before I dig into the pickups, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button and hitting that thumbs up if you like the content that I'm putting out there. I really do appreciate it and it really does let me know that I'm doing what I need to do to satisfy you, the viewer. Make sure you guys are following me on all social, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. I have a Facebook for the YouTube channel. Make sure you guys are following me, liking, subscribing to all platforms so you can see everything that's going on with the channel. Well, guys, let's dig into these pickups. The first is from the WWE. As you guys know, I was a huge wrestling fanatic when I was little. I don't really follow wrestling too much anymore. But I do love the retro stuff that WWF does from time to time. And this one pickup was a must-have for me when I seen it sitting in the store down in Wildwood. Wildwood's got this place called the Boardwalk Mall. If you're not familiar with it, you guys really should check it out if you're ever in the area. They have a lot of dope stores in there. And it's not like the usual novelty, you know, knockoff Boardwalk type stuff. They have a store in there that's you know, pretty comparable to like a Lids. They have like all new era hats, all dad hats, jersey, stuff like that. Then they have some other cool stores, a lot of like concert merch and stuff like that. But this WWE pickup that I got is so dope. I can't wait to show this off. It's a chalk line Razor Ramon basketball jersey. Take a look at Razor Ramon. I'm living the good life, man. The jersey is so dope. It's got Razor Ramon graphics all over it. Very breathable, very durable. It does run a little big, so if you guys, there's tons of places to get these. So if you guys ever do venture out to get a throwback WWF jersey, make sure you guys get true to size. Because I usually like to wear like an XL to have a little bit of a baggier um, feel to my clothing. But these definitely run a little big. So make sure you get your real size. If you're a large, get a large. Don't go up the XL to have a little bit baggy because they're hella long. So if you get a, a someone like me, who's only like 5'7", an XL will be down to my knees. But the price point on this was, you know, Pretty good. It was forty-five dollars. They had chalk line WWF jackets that like matched the jerseys. They were one hundred and five dollars. A little steep for me, so I didn't pull the trigger. But the jersey of forty-five was a must-have. I loved Razor Ramon. They had Razor, Ric Flair, The Ultimate Warrior, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, and there was a sixth one. I just know it wasn't Bret Hart. If it was Bret Hart, I would have been all over that. If it was DX, I would have been all over that. But out of the throwback wrestlers that they had there. You know, Razor Ramon was the one that I felt was the best pickup for me. I, I can't wait to throw this on. we are rocking this a lot the rest of the summer. The next two pickups are from this weird, crazy, like, psychedelic store they have there. I don't even know the name of it or even, like, really know what their, like, go-to product to sell is. But they have, like, these tie-dye acid wash t-shirts with, like, animals on them. And they were two for 45, 25 hours a piece. This one's like a Midnight Navy with this tiger just looking to pounce on you. And the second one was this wolf gray, I'll call it. Wolf. Like Siberian Husky or a wolf. But two for, 40, two for 45 hours, you couldn't beat the price point. 25 hours each. So I had to jump on them. I thought they were really cool. I actually already rocked the gray one. I thought they were really cool. I actually already rocked the gray one the, the day after I bought it. So it was definitely money well spent. All right, guys. So let's dig into this next pickup. It's from Adidas. You know what it is. Boost is life. These dropped on Saturday. They're a Boost model that I currently do not have and that has constantly escaped my grasps. So when I seen that they released these two colorways on Saturday, I had to pounce and buy one. I was up in the air on which colorway I was going to go with, and there might be a little bit of a problem with the sneaker once I see it in person, but it is the EQT Support 9317 with that boost. Boost is life. Let's get a glimpse of these Warlocks. Man, the boost on this heel. 
I, I see why people say, you know, I haven't had a pair of these in my hand. So I see why people say that the boost on these is the most comfortable. The boost on the back of the sneaker is ridiculous. The heels got to be, you know, so hella comfortable. Just the whole, whole shoe out dope. I like the bottom. Similar to an NMD, the boost on this is, is hus husky. It's a very husky boost. But the EQT is my only really... Everybody complains about the Pure Boost tongue. The EQT tongue's kind of, you know, I could take it or leave it. But got some dope suede on the sides. I'm not going to get too much into it. You guys have seen EQTs all over the place. So one thing I was worried about, and I'm, I, I'm glad this was one of the times where buying online didn't, um, didn't come back to bite me in the ass or, you know, make me salty. In the pictures of this and it was like the bright pink, they released both of them on Saturday. The toes kind of looked like, you know, this pattern here that's similar to what's on the um, Ultra Boost right now. It kind of resembled the Turtle Duff pattern a little bit. And I was kind of worried that Adidas was going to start going in the direction of making even more sneakers look like Yeezys. You know, they've done it with the tubular shadows. They've done it with the tubular invaders, making them look like the Yeezy 750s. You know, they even have the tubular shadow that looks like Bape. It's just, you know, and I love the tubular shadow. For the price point, you cannot beat that sneaker. But, you know, I was just really worried they were going to start throwing the Yeezy pattern on this, on other sneakers and just Yeezy models on sneakers that are already so dope and, you know, such big sellers all on their own. But I wish, I would love to do it on foot. I, I want to get back to doing a lot more on feet or videos and photos for, for the vlogs. But the weather today is just horrible, Philly. It's a friggin' tornado warning here, so I'm not going to go outside and get these all beat up on their first day. But I definitely do want to go back into the direction of doing, I'm going to start doing lookbooks for you know, what I, my fits for that weekend or my fits for that week. Stuff like that, or what sneakers I'm pairing with what outfits and stuff like that. I do want to start branching out and getting more creative with the channel than me just doing unboxing. I want to start getting out there and doing other stuff. But I'm going to be back tomorrow, and I got big news, so make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. But until tomorrow, I'm Richie Ruckus. Peace! You step into the ring with Razor Ramon. It's strictly business, chico.